Hi guys, welcome back to another video of Code Hell. In this video, we will try something a little different. I will show how to build this stunning personal portfolio website using only AI. All right, you can see here, I've also added an AI chatbot feature on this website. So users can directly chat or ask questions about me, my services, or the projects I've built, and the chatbot will automatically respond. This chatbot is already integrated with AI technology, so it can provide more natural and relevant answers. Okay, now let's try out this chatbot. I will try to write, hello, what's your name? And yeah, it replies, I'm John Kendrick. Nice to meet you. What can I help you with today? Now, I will try to ask, for example, um, can you tell me more about yourself? I'm a passionate web developer and UI designer based in San Francisco, and so on. Okay, last question. For example, what's the most interesting project you've worked on? Um, and what technologies did you use? It replies, e-commerce dashboard project. And here, it says the project was built using React, Node.js, MongoDB, and Tailwind. What do you think about the responses from this chatbot? Cool, right? Okay. Then here, you can also see that all the designs you see here are made entirely using only AI. And for the projects section, we can filter projects based on category, such as web app, website, or UI UX. Every time we click a category, the projects will appear with smooth transition animation. And by default, all projects will be displayed. And not only that, in this contact section, this contact form is already fully functional and can directly send messages to my email. Okay, now I will try to send a message to my email. For example, like this. Then click Send Message. Okay. Nice, message sent. Now I try to check on my email. And yeah, the message was successfully sent to my email along with the information that I wrote on the contact form. Now let me open this web page on a smaller screen, so you can see this web page is also fully responsive. So, on this smaller screen, you can also see that it looks good. And the same goes for our chatbot, it still looks good. Alright, if you're curious about the AI tools I used to build this stunning personal portfolio website and how I created it, stay tuned until the end of this video. Okay, let's start building a personal portfolio website using only AI. But before we continue, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to CodeHow so you won't miss other exciting tutorials about programming and web design. And now, let's get started. Alright, this is the AI that I use, called Lovable. Lovable is an AI-based platform that helps us from various skill levels to build high-quality full-stack web applications without having to write code manually. Because with Lovable, we just need to describe our application idea in natural language, and Lovable will automatically transform that description into a functional application with an attractive design. Okay. Now let's start creating a personal portfolio website using Lovable. It's easy, I will enter a simple prompt into Lovable. Create a dark mode personal portfolio website for a web developer. Here for the initial prompt, I didn't mention the design or features specifically, I just wanted a portfolio website with dark mode, so let Lovable create on its own. Okay, now Lovable is processing the request from me, and is currently creating files and writing code automatically, so we don't need to write code manually. This is very helpful for us as web developers to speed up the work. Whoa, amazing! You can see, I only entered a simple prompt, not long and not specific, but Lovable gave me amazing results. And in my opinion, this is quite complex. This is crazy. I just need to fix parts or elements that I might not like, and or add features that I want. And you can also see here, the design that was made is also already fully responsive. 
So this is very helpful for us, and we don't have to bother thinking about how to make our website look good on all devices, because Lovable has already done that automatically. If we want to preview it live in the browser, we can click this arrow icon. And the result is like this, looks good. Oh yeah, if you also want to adjust it to the design you have, for example your Figma design, or image file and want to instruct Lovable to create the exact same design, Lovable will also automatically convert your design into code, and can do that well. Now let's continue. Oh, it looks like there's a little error. We can click this. And, try to fix it. Okay, now there are no more errors. Hmm, it looks like I don't like this arrow icon here, so I will remove it. I will take a screenshot of this icon, and insert it into the chat input field. Hmm. So I will say remove this element. Okay, nice. Now it's gone. Then I will rename this John Doe. So we can click edit. Then click the element we want. We can directly change it here or here. I will change it to, for example, um, John Kendrick. If it's done, click save. Okay, now it's changed. Oh yeah, if we want to change the color of this element, we can do that too. We can click edit again, click the element, then select color. Here, we can choose the available colors, whatever you like. Or if we want to customize the color, we can click custom. Then select the color we want. Or if you have your own hex color code, you can also enter it here. But since I prefer the previous color, I can click Discard. Next, we will replace this text with a photo or image. First, we will delete this element, but the method is different. Previously we deleted the arrow icon element using a prompt, but now we just need to click Edit. Select the element we want to edit, and click this trash icon to delete the element. Click Delete. And don't forget to click save again. Okay, now we will add a photo here. So we can click attach. And here, I have already prepared a photo that I will use for this project. I want this photo to be inside a circle. So maybe I will write, for example, um, create a large circle with a transparent background and a slightly thick border, then add the image I provided inside the circle. Position the circle above the text John Kendrick. Nice. Now, let's move on to the About section. First, we will change the name John Doe. The way is the same as before, click Edit, and then change it to John Kendrick. Then, for the email, we will also change it to John Kendrick. After that, we will replace this image. To replace it, we can use an image link that we can paste here, or we can also attach an image that we already have. But I won't do either, because I want the image on the About section to be the same as the one in the Hero section that I've already created, where the image is already placed inside a circle. I will try to write Replace the image in the About section with the circle and photo in the Hero section. Okay, looks good. Then, for the skills section, I think it already looks good, I don't need to change anything. And, um, for the projects section, for example, um, I will change this image. Here, I have prepared two example images for the projects section. First for this image. So I will say to Lovable, um, change the image on the restaurant website project, um, to the image I provided. Yeah, awesome. And now we will change the image on this project. We can reattach the image that we want. Then we just copy this prompt and paste it here. I will change restaurant website to fitness app design. Now the image has changed. Okay, let's continue. Next, we will delete this footer. Please remove footer. 
Nice. So far, what do you think about Lovable? Cool, right? I highly recommend you to try Lovable directly. You can directly try Lovable through the link that I have included in the description of this video. And then try to share your experience and thoughts in the comments after using Lovable. Okay. Now I will make this contact form work. In this example, I will use email.js. You can also use another email delivery service according to your preference. So, because I don't know what needs to be prepared, I will try to ask Lovable. What should I prepare to make a contact form work using email.js? All right, I'll reply with, yeah, please update my contact form using email.js so it can work. So here, we need these three credentials, service ID, template ID, and public key. Now, we can go to the email.js website. On this email services menu, we can click add new service, select Gmail, and then connect our email account to email.js. Once it's connected, we can click create service. All right, now we have the service ID. Next, we go to the email templates menu. Click create new template, then click create template. First, I can delete this and change the title to subject. Then for the content section, we can go to edit content and click design editor. Then I will delete everything and write message. And here I will change the font to Arial. After that, click apply changes. Okay, later the email message will be sent to CodeHal example. If it's done, click save. And now we already have a template ID. So now we're going to let Lovable know. Here I will write service ID, template ID, and public key. For the service ID, we can click this and copy this one. Then paste it here. Next, for the template ID, click Settings and copy this one. Paste it here again. And lastly, for the public key, we go to the Account menu, then copy this one. And paste it here. So I can say to Lovable, please, Add it in my code. Okay, now we will try it. I will fill out this form. Click send message. Nice message sent. Okay, I try to check on my email account. And yeah, the message was successfully sent to my email along with the information I wrote in the contact form. And finally, we will add an AI chatbot feature to our website. So here I will write now add AI chatbot feature. And yeah, now it's already visible on our website. Next, I want the response generated by this chatbot to be smarter and more flexible. And in this example, I will use OpenAI. You can also use other AI service providers according to your preference. Next, we will tell Lovable again. Please make AI chatbot work using OpenAI. Do you need OpenAI API key from me? So here, we need to have an API key. To get it, now we can go to the OpenAI platform. Click Dashboard. Then click API Keys. After that, click Create New Secret Key. Here, for example, I'll name it Portfolio Website. And finally, click Create Secret Key. And now, we already have an API key that we will use in our project. Then we can copy this API key. Next, we will tell Lovable again. I will reply, yeah, please proceed with the changes. Here is my OpenAI API key. Then for the API key, we can paste it here. Okay, before I try it, it seems I don't want the concept of this AI chatbot to use an AI assistant. I want the concept as if it's myself who is replying to this chat when there is a user who interacts such as asking questions or whatever it is in this chatbot. And now I will write, please, make AI chatbot reply like myself, not using AI assistant. Okay, great. 
Now let's try it. For example, I will try to write, hello. And yeah, it replies, hey, thanks for dropping by. What's on your mind today? Okay, I will try to ask, for example, um, can you tell me more about yourself? Sure thing. I'm passionate about technology and design, and so on. And yeah, now we have finished adding the AI chatbot feature to our website. Then at the top here, we can see the entire project code that has been created by Lovable. This project is built with React.js, TypeScript, and Tailwind CSS. Here we can see the complete structure of our project, but because it's not yet connected to GitHub, the status is still read-only. That means we cannot directly edit the code from here yet. If we want to be able to edit directly and commit from Lovable, we just need to connect the project to a GitHub account. And to connect the project with a GitHub account, we can do it through this GitHub button. And of course, if we want to download the code, we can download the entire project code at any time. Besides GitHub, Lovable also provides direct integration with Superbase. So, if our project needs a backend, we can directly connect to Superbase from here. After our project is ready, we can directly publish the website. Lovable will provide a default URL like this that we can open directly in the browser. And if you have your own domain, you can also connect it through the Connect Custom Domain button. Okay, if you're curious to try Lovable directly, you can click the link in the video description to start exploring its features and see how Lovable can help you build a professional website more easily. All right, I hope this video can provide insight and benefits for you. If there are any questions or things that are unclear, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the CodeHow channel so you won't miss out on various other interesting tutorials about programming and web design. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, and see you in the next video.